Hey y'all, it's the Southern Woods here, and we are out on a very cold, flurry, snow, January day here in Georgia. Um, I told you, around January, February, we'd come back with more metal detecting videos. And this will be my first video filmed with the 4K camcorder. I look decent. I have a microphone attached to it. I hope I sound decent. I forgot to charge the microphone, so hopefully it doesn't die. Um, but yeah, we're back at it again with the Garrett Ace. Have a GoPro attached to it this time. Uh, so we'll have some different angles. Hopefully we find something worthwhile. Also, y'all, this will be partly a review of my new boots. These are the uh, redhead boots. I don't know what specifics there are, but if I find a link and remember, I'll put it down in the description of the video. Uh, I need new boots. Uh, both of mine had holes in them by the end of this hunting season. And these are on clearance at Cabela's for 40 bucks, which is hell of a deal for Cabela's. So I'm trying them out. So this will be part metal detecting, part boot review. So y'all, walking in here, found this deer skull of a buck. The antlers seem to be uh, sawed off. Uh, just based on the size of it, it's probably at least a spike at most, probably a four-pointer. I don't imagine it being too big, but yeah, just something interesting we found walking down. We got our first really good hit on the metal detector. Right there. So, try to dig it up. I apologize with my use of the sifter. I'm not used to it. Hey y'all, I'm back. That first find was this 1966 dime. I apologize that it wasn't good on the camcorder. I can't figure out how to save my life to uh, focus with it. So that's kind of frustrating. 
I mean, it's a lot better quality than my phone at a normal distance, but uh, I just won't focus on small objects like my phone can. So, first find was this 1966 dime. We got something here. Let's try to find it. It was a pretty good signal at first. I don't know. Either going to be a coin or a pop tab, I suspect. Pretty disappointing. It's part of a part of a bottle, like a aluminum bottle cap. I start today, especially with the camera work. <laughs> Some, Some big old buck prints right there. They coming out now that hunting season's over. Yes, sir. Hey, y'all. I'm back. Um, been metal detecting here for a little bit. As you saw, not much was found. A pop tab, more trash, and then the best find so far is the 1966 dime. But since that's not silver, it's still only worth 10 cents. So we're having some struggles, some technology issues since it's me filming only and everything. What I've been trying to do is you know, intro to the find with the GoPro on the metal detector and then film me digging it up with the camcorder and if it's something worth 
getting up close and personal with just using my phone. Um, I had some other stuff I was going to use, something broke. You know how it goes, struggle. Um, so, not having much uh, luck in this creek. It's not as low as I hoped it'd be to do the sandbar. So we're going to move to a different creek. Um, hope we have more luck there. One of my batteries for the camcorder is already getting on the low side. Luckily, I brought a backup. Um, worst comes to worst, I could just whip out the phone. Um, or maybe charge it with my battery pack if I have the cord. I don't know. I thought I was prepared. wasn't as prepared as I thought I was. And can't be too prepared. But anyways, we'll go to the next spot. The whole purpose of me filming this was to give an update on the boots. So these red-headed boots, they've been comfortable so far. No water has gone in them. Nice and warm. Um, really good so far. We'll see how they uh, stay out through the rest of the day. All right, y'all. I'm at the, the new creek, the new spot. I'm about to start detecting again. Getting back to it. But a quick little message. I know back in my woods it's a good spot to maybe you know shoot some ammo for your gun get a little target practice in but what I hate is when people you know shoot a bunch of bottles and just leave them all scattered in the woods you know every year I try to pick up as much trash around here as I can and it's just annoying just seeing new bottles scattered around just know that when I become a game warden, I am going to patrol my home woods every once in a while. And if I ever catch someone shooting and leaving their targets down there, I will find them with the full extent of the law. So, I know it may seem harsh, but these are my woods. I care about them. It makes me upset seeing people just littering them and shooting around. I have no problem with shooting back here. But leaving all your targets and shit everywhere, I don't, I don't like that. So, just a warning for anyone who does watch it that they shoot around here. Anyways, we're going to get back to metal detecting. That was just a tiny little rant on the side. Let's get to it. Let's get digging. Alright, alright. Uh, got a new signal. It doesn't sound terribly good, but... You know what, we're going to dig it up anyways. We're trying to. Let's get it. Yeah, just some crumpled up aluminum. More trash. So, we have a decent signal right here under these leaves in the water. We're going to try to get it, check it out. Really good signal. We also got four wheelers hanging around somewhere.
I'm starting to question uh, what the signal could be. Um, I don't know. If I do find it, I'll get back to y'all. If not, we're going to end this dig here, at least on video. I'll get back to y'all. Alright, y'all, update on the last one. Uh, it ended up just being a Bud Light can. I'm curious to see if this one will be very similar since it has that very good sound, but it just isn't good. So, But, it's a new hole, so we are going to try. Strong signal, but so is the other one. Christmas time Coca Cola can. Wow. How wonderful. Ah, two thousand nine. Overall, it's in pretty good condition. So, you know, I could probably clean it up and just stick it in my room with all my other uh, limited time soda cans. Alright, here's a look at it one more time. I'll clean it up and show y'all later. Alright, y'all, off camera. Uh, I got an iron signal. I decided to dig it up because I thought it'd be trash. Did find something. Haven't completely dug it up yet. Can y'all see it in the camera? Maybe. Well, I'm gonna pull it out. We're gonna pull it out together. Yep, that's what I thought it was. Broken bungee cord. So, I mean. That's a different find. Yep, long broken bungee cord.
got another signal here. Um, I'm not too confident about this one. I feel like it's just going to be trash again. Uh, I found a couple more cans that I didn't get on film. Um, but we'll see. It's saying it's more in more nickel or rings, so it's being consistent for once. I think I see it. Yeah. You got a bullet shell, Smith and Western 40 shell. So. Yeah, as, as I said before, people do target practice here, but hey, our other fun bullet shells and trash all day. I'm talking about all day. Alright, y'all. I think I'm going to call it a day for metal detecting. Um, it's pretty darn cold. Uh, since the last time I filmed, I found one more uh, bullet shell and a pop tab. So. I don't know, this is my first little metal detecting video with the camcorder. I don't know if I'm going to set it up that way, like the process, um, like that all the time, on how I do things, like the GoPro on the metal detector, digging it up from camcorder view, I don't know. Let me know how y'all thought about it, what I did right, what I did wrong, how I can improve. This video is not going to be over, I'm still going to go look around on the lake bed for uh, stuff and y'all can come with me, it's just the metal, de metal detecting part's going to be done. Um, but yeah, come with me, we'll go look for uh, lures and golf balls and other stuff on the lake, and then I'll give my final review on uh, my redhead boots. So, it's not over yet, let's go. So as I said, uh, going to the lake now, seeing what all we can find. Just gonna look around at the vast openness that there is. And, yep, let's just search for stuff. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. Well, there's an old purse. Nothing in it. It's a shame. I was hoping to find uh, some coins at least. You know, just walking in what little water's left in the lake right now. It's cold. But we're going to find something cool today. Darn it. So let's do that. Uh, if we put together the context clues, y'all, someone's out here drinking on the boat, they're fishing, and they drop their damn fishing pole in the water.
Oh well, it wasn't a very good one anyways. And we found our first good chunk of the narrow head out here. Focus, damn it. Yeah. Damn it, focus. Yeah. Um, it definitely looks like part of one. Definitely not a full one. But it's definitely part of something. But, I mean, that's a neat little find right there. I'm happy about that. Don't forget, final review on these redhead boots. Um, I've been walking most of the day uh, through water, on land. Uh, my feet don't really hurt. Obviously, there's no holes. If there was holes on the first day, we'd have mega problems. And they're comfortable. My feet are warm. So, so far, so good. I mean, for not super expensive, even not on clearance, I think they were only like uh, 70 bucks maybe. For nothing super expensive, so far these are good quality, but you have to wait till, you know, at least one hunting season to see. I mean, my first pair of good boots lasted three hunting seasons. My last pair only lasted one, so. I, I hope these at least last two full seasons, and then we'll see after that. But, and we're about, we're about to head home, um, wash our finds off, you know, show you what we got, and then this video will be over. Some of the stuff I did keep from metal detecting. Um, the 1966 dime, a little piece of trash, a couple of uh, bullet shells, the 2009 Christmas Coca-Cola can, this ball that I found, these pair of glasses that I found too, sorry they're a little bit sudsy, but I mean, if they aren't prescription, I mean these are a decent pair of sunglasses, or glasses, I don't know, they're pr they probably aren't prescription, I'm not sure, but yeah. Those were the finds that I kept. I found some other things um, that I didn't really keep, but there y'all go. Southern Woods out.